Florence is um, a way for me to communicate with my patients um, in a really quick, easy format. Uh, I find it really useful just because it allows messages that I would normally be giving to patients on a consultation face-to-face. -face. It means that these messages are spread out over a period of time. They'll get little nuggets of information that will help them to adapt their eating behaviours and their habits around what food choices they're making and then hopefully allow them to choose things that I would say would be conducive to gaining weight and therefore doing exactly the kind of things that I'm aiming for in some of my patients. So I deal only with adults with cystic fibrosis. So about the age of 16 we have patients moving through a kind of transition process from paediatrics to the adult service. And around this time, we're really trying to embed in them some of the skills that they're going to take forward in life, which is very much self-caring, self-efficacy, allowing them to manage their condition better and giving them a bit of control over the medications that they take, the treatments that they have, um, and really just nurturing to them through that stage throughout their adulthood. So we'll keep these patients pretty much from the age of 16 till they move away from the service or they no longer need our care. Uh, the messages for Florence I have adapted slightly. At the moment we're using mostly, well I'm using mostly the nutrition support protocol which is messages on really high calorie and high protein snacks and drinks and um, so fortify things like fortifying your milk. So for example it would give patients a clear idea about how to add some calories and protein to normal milk by adding skim milk powder to that, mixing it up and using that instead for drinks, for cereals, um, and just as a drink on its own. And things like adding grated cheese to soups, and um, just small simple things, but I think because of the timely fashion that Florence gives out these information nuggets in small chunks, it's more manageable for people to kind of take on board some of the messages, rather than trying to do it all in a one hour in a consultation, where often they might go out of the room and then forget everything that's been said to them. Yeah, the messages at the moment are set up on a protocol for various times in the day. And yes, for my patients in particular, I tend to find that I have got quite a young cohort or group of patients. Um, a lot of them are in their early 20s and not all of them are following a kind of what you would class as a typical day as being up at kind of eight or so in the morning and going to bed by 10 at night. Some of them are quite late risers um, and some of them are up to the small hours of the night. So I've actually adapted, and this is a good thing about Florence, that you can go in and change the times. So I found that for some of mine who I know will not be up at seven o'clock in the morning to send in their weight for the day, I can adapt those messages and put it to later on um, at a time when I know that they'll then be getting up and able to send in the information that we need. Um, I think the reaction of my patients to Florence has been varied. I've only tried it out on a few so far. And I think the slight difference with my patient group is that they very much had a dietitian involved since they were young and babies in some cases so they're very much used to that kind of input of a dietitian and some of the nutrition messages and now you think that then in that case they would know it all already but actually they did say back in some of the feedback that they found that constant drip of information really useful and it actually reinforced to them that they were doing what they were doing was either the right thing to do or it just gave them little reminders of what they should be doing. Um, for example, I had one young patient who just turned about 18 and he has actually used the ideas from Florence to then set his own reminders on his phone so that he is remembering to eat the kinds of snacks that he likes to eat. So rather than um, always going by what Florence has said, he's kind of set his own ones in, in addition to Florence and he's found that really useful and it's allowed him actually to gain quite a significant amount of weight uh, and for him so much so that he's now had his gastrostomy tube removed that he's had in since childhood so for him that was a big aim um, of what we were trying to get to in his treatment and he's been able to achieve that and, and probably Florence helped him a little bit along the way with it. So our patients with cystic fibrosis are adults living within quite a wide area of Tayside. So we have patients living in Montrose, we have patients over in Aberfeldy, and we also cover North East Fife. Um, a lot of our patients have got multiple visits to clinics 
and hospital appointments and so reducing that need for, for patients to come into hospital and be seen face to face is, is a really good thing and anything that helps limit that time but and also continues with our ethos of trying to maintain patients in their own homes so that's very much we don't want to have to bring them to hospital unless they really need to come in for an admission and so a lot of our care and support is done within the home anyway. Yeah I think very much for me it enhances the care certainly with our our patient group we don't we're not we don't discharge patients they're with us pretty much for their whole lives um, and that's very much the ethos of the cystic fibrosis team it's a very multidisciplinary multidisciplinary approach and um, we'll support them throughout their their life and different challenges that, that they might come up, up against so very much it's enhancing it'll never take the place of face-to-face -face consultations because they always come to regular clinic visits here um, but I do find that I'm thinking towards the future and the possible scope of Florence and um, some of our patients have things like emerging diabetes and um, some of our older patients have issues with ongoing um, concerns of older age like uh, blood pressure rising so there's lots of different cases where we might be able to use some of the things that we've learned from Florence um, and ad adapt that according to individuals needs at the moment the messages that I get back from Florence patients that I've had have only had to input their weight and it gives a really nice weight chart or weight graph um, so that you can track a patient's weight almost remotely without having to actually see the patient and weigh them yourself. So you're relying on them having some scales at home to be able to weigh themselves. Um, we're hoping to also look at some of the evaluation messages coming back from patients on how they found Florence. But at the moment I think that's still an area that's probably going to be developed a little bit more. Um, I think in this day and age people are used to they really like using technology and especially the, the group that I work with but I think also really importantly some feedback to them would be really good so at the moment I can see their weight but the patients themselves they don't get to see the graphs that, they, that they've inputted so for them potentially in the future to be able to see that I think would be really useful and empowering because then that allows them to see the progress that they've made a bit more clearly. I do think Florence should be continued. I think that we're only just beginning to see the, the potential with it um, and the more I get used to the system and the more I've worked with it, I can see the potential benefits across a lot of different areas. Um, certainly I think when it was probably designed, cystic fibrosis wasn't an area that maybe they thought it would be useful in as it is an area that tends to have a bit more dietetic support. But I think when I've been to um, other case conferences and presentations across the country you can see that the move towards using technology um, is definitely something that a lot of centres are embracing and I think if there's anything there whether it's enhancing current care or almost doing a little bit of the dietitian's role for you um, it's never going to do all of it but I think it's a really good useful tool and I think it'll just will carry on building on it and, and it'll go from strength to strength.